Hello everybody, this is Molly. How are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are enjoying the summer as much as I am. Oh, hold on just a minute. Let's see what that says. Something just showed up on my computer I got rid of, so I'm hoping this works. Okay, I want to show y'all a couple of layouts that I did. This is from a collection called the Farmhouse Collection. I got it from um, HSN. It's a three birds. And I don't think this collection is still available, but I got it at a great sale price. I had never tried three birds before from HSN. And we're scared of the quality. However, I just love the little gizmo of, you know, the things they make to store stuff in and all. So I thought, what the heck, I'll try that. You know, just let me get started. It was cheap, cheap, cheap. So I bought it. But anyway, uh, now let me tell you this about that. I was so pleasantly surprised. First off, the stuff that came in the kit, they had lots of little embellishments and things. But the paper quality, uh, I actually was scrapbooking with this and we can crop. And friends thought I was scrapbooking with a Webster's pages. I don't know if you can, if I can show you how thick that is, but this paper, the quality is incredible, and you can see the designs are very reminiscent of uh, Webster's Pages. So here's the layouts I made. Now that's my cute son and his little girl, yeah, and his girlfriend, ooh, his wife, uh, Brian. I guess they're still boyfriend and girlfriend. They sure smile a lot, but anyway, so uh, this page, this is all just on the paper, and it's so pretty, and I didn't add anything on that side. But what I did do was, let me see if I can put this here. I cut this out with some of the borders from, I think, Spellbinders, edge dies. Isn't that pretty? And then I just put a piece of the brown, you know, pick the truck, pick the brown color and laid it back there. But isn't that dye beautiful? And I think it's some Spellbinders. It's like a package of several different edge dies together. Okay. And then over here, let me turn this up a little bit. You can see where I am enjoying the heck. Um, I have recently retired from work, so I'm having a lot more time to craft and play and been digging, digging, digging in my craft room and just, it, man, I have more scrapbook stuff that I like than I think any store around. And so it's been the fun to go in there and dig out and use my old stuff. But anyway, rambling, uh, you can see I pulled out some old cream of rhinestones that I've had for a long time. Bling, isn't that pretty? Piled up some ribbon there. It's gold. It's looking kind of green on the screen. But anyway, and then of course some Anna Griffin, uh, wording there. Just a piece of paper right there. And then, of course, some beautiful old Prima flowers and then flowers I got from Michael. But this Prima flower, I was scrapbooking that night and uh, struggling finding flowers. But a friend walked up and pulled this off a card. See that old Prima flower? Do you remember it with all the feathers around it? Isn't that cute? So it was just perfect. I don't know if you can see the feathers or not. Looks like the center of the flowers kind of got smushed. But anyway, uh, so I like how this one came out. That's the first one. I rambled enough on that one. Okay, here's the next one I made. I have about a billion photographs. Okay, maybe I exaggerate a little bit. I have about a half billion photographs of uh, flowers and stuff everywhere we go. I don't care how big or little the patch is. i got to take pictures of flowers. But anyway, so again, this paper came with, doesn't that look like Webster's Pages? Or every bit is pretty. And all, but anyway, so that was, that's printed on the paper. It didn't do anything in the corners. But what I did here was I took, you know, wood, piece of paper that looked like wood, you know, just tore it to make a background, layered up some old, I think these embellishments, this bling that you see here, part of it is Prima, and then part of it is, um, oh, recollection, thank you, okay, recollection, this piece of eyelet here is old, 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 my mama, this is a piece of little ribbon I've had for more years than I'd like to admit, and then just layered up um, pieces of you know, chipboard and thing and a butterfly and a bunch of flowers. You can see some prima. You can see some prima, prima. Uh, this is a cute little heart nestle back there. Okay, and then these flowers are um, probably wild orchid crafts or what's the other one? Okay, anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I like that layout. And it just shows off the beautiful uh, peach irises that uh, I took a picture of. Okay. And then last but not least, oh, let me stick these back down real quick because they're starting to peel up. Now, when I say old bling, this old bling that I have on here was from Prima. And it's old, 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 and it's starting to want to lift off the page, so I'm going to have to reattach it. I mean, isn't that a cheery piece of paper? Oops, sorry, I'm getting dizzy. See how pretty? See how pretty? Sorry, I was making that dizzy. So a beautiful old sheet of paper. So this is one of the papers that matched. And then this is my mom. Now, not to bore you with this story, this is me and big old fat cheeks and chin. But anyway, this is my mom. Uh, she is 92 and just 
spry, gets around, smart, funny, um, clever. I mean, just can't say enough good things about her. But then she looks good for 92. Y'all let her all be nodding your head. That's my mama. But anyway, so um, I've used a little piece of lace sticking out here. Some pretty laces, just making a little piece here. Of course, Anna Griffin. Did I mention I have enough Anna Griffin to last for three lifetimes? And then uh, just a piece of rice on there to carry those rhinestones through there. And then different flowers that I got from uh, mostly Prima, some Petaloo, probably some Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, and so I like that layout. Now, uh, you can hardly see it here, but let me see if I can show you. This die right here, well, this isn't lace, but underneath here is the edge die. It, these are from Anna Griffin. I hope you can see it. Let me see if I can turn it this way. If you can see it better, yeah. What that is, is you cut, there's a die that cuts the edge. I'm going the wrong one. It cuts the edge. Then there's an embossing folder that you stick that in. You know, it, it lines up perfectly with that, and you emboss it. Okay, Anna, dang, that's a good idea. Now, it's tedious, you know, it takes a little time, but it's, um, it came with a kit she had, and Oh my God, I just love them all. It's like the dyes are exquisite, and this came out exquisite. And then all I did here was it was white full paper, so I just sanded it down a little bit. So I have intentions of really playing with some of those dyes now. So these are all my layouts that I did from the farmhouse collection off of HSN. It's three birds, and I like them. So I hope you all enjoy. Hope you're having a great day crafting. Please continue to share your ideas. I love them. Okay, y'all have fun. Bye bye.